welcome to join me with another create a smile layout uh, i'm starting with collecting all all papers and uh, things i might going to have used on this layout and then i'm uh, using embossing powder to some chippies i'm going to use uh, this beautiful chipboard is from Create a Smile, and I think it's the most beautiful title I have ever used. Um, this actually might be the second layout I'm using this beautiful word as a title, but it's so beautiful I can't kind of be without using it. Uh, I'm using white embossing powder also to these circles to make them looking like a detail on my layout. Another preparation for this layout is to make stamped leaves. I'm using Time to Say Thanks stamp set from Create a Smile and this one beautiful leaf together with this green patternet paper. I'm cutting them up and later using them as embellishments on my layout. Uh, fuzzy cutting is it, isn't yet my thing, but I'm practicing all the time. I'm sure I'm going to be very professional with it later. Uh, I'm using black ink to ink the edges of these leaves to make them look um, much uh, smoother. So now I have my leaves and my chip brush ready to go and I'm cutting some tricks art papers to create a paper cluster behind my picture. Uh, this picture is my daughter who is very beautiful. I don't know if she's because her mother is so beautiful. No, 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 that was a joke. Anyway, I'm uh, building a paper cluster uh, using lots of blues, dark blues and dark greens. Um, I'm just adding them piece by piece to this cluster and and using some round punch to make some something else than all uh, straight edges and things like that. Uh, now I'm wondering if I will use those chipboards uh, together with paper, but I decided not to. So next phase is to make some doodles and then creating a, a paste, a special paste for my stencil work. For this paste, I'm uh, using modeling paste, then some uh, blue acrylic paint, which was my great idea, mixed these two, but uh, it was too light because my paper, papers are so dark. So <laughs> my clever idea was to add some black ink to it, but as you see, it looks like a poop. So I added <laughs> with it some um, uh, blue ink and now it's much more better. And as the paint I used before has some, some sheen in it, I used a uh, mica powder to create that sheen with all this with all this uh, paste. Uh, as you see, I have a lot of this paste now, so I'm using it to this background and leftovers to um, some blank page. So I have uh, two backgrounds to go with. Uh, this stencil is also from Create a Smile, and I created uh, um, a little um, additional <laughs> stencil with it to use it um, another way. I kind of like it, this look. They look like a little trees or something. Uh, now I'm attaching the paper cluster and some chipboards and uh, making it together. This layout uh, needed quite a lot of preparations, the background, those leaves, those chipboards, so it's really uh, pleasing to get it all together. Uh, I used some 3D foams and together with glue to adhere to picture and now only clue to add these leaves and 
and things and placements onto this layout. Uh, now these leaves look actually like leaves and uh, as I cut them off they they give a lot of dimension and together with that flower it it looks nice. Uh, I'm also using glue to adhere to the title and if you feel the chipboard uh, gets curly or something then just put something on it. Uh, I'm also using some enamel dots from Creator Smile to create some details. And the last thing I'm going to do is to cover the picture with some paper pieces and then flicking mists. I'm using almost the same uh, color as the patterned papers are. This was uh, indigo blue from uh, 13 Arts. And to make it lighter, I'm using white ink to give some details also. So here it is. It came out nicely, I think. So thank you for watching and thank you for listening and I hope we'll see you soon. Thank you and have a nice day. Bye!